Yeah, come on. Adjust. Yeah, there you go. Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host, Frank the Vamp. And um, welcome to analyzing the franchise. Um, well, we're still in the Child's Play franchise, and we just finished part three, so we're going to part four. And uh, this is a big change, guys, uh, because this is where the franchise took off in a whole different uh, direction that it had before. Um, it's so much so that it's not even called Child's Play anymore, so it's just a weird one for me. You know, the franchise actually had a name change. Now, it's, So now it just goes to individuals, but I guess we could... This could be known as Child's Play 4, but the name of the movie is The Brat of Chucky. Uh, because people recognize that, I mean, Chucky's a star. Chucky's just got to get top billing here, right? So, after the horrible, horrible um, reception that uh, Child's Play 3 got, um, yeah, it made uh, you know creator Don Mancini you know, think twice. And it took seven years, it took until 1998. Uh, you know, for, for him to consider making another sequel. And uh, with director Ronnie Yu, uh, this time adding uh, the beautiful, talented, funny, and I can't say enough good things about um, the awesome, awesome Jennifer Tilly. And, uh, you know, united with Brad Dourif coming back again to reprise his role as the voice of Chucky. Uh, to and adding the immortal, awesome super dude, which will be me as um, you know. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I, it almost chokes me up. Uh, you know, to talk about John Ritter, I really like John Ritter, and he was one of my favorite comedic actors. And uh, you know, I miss him still. But uh, yeah, he was great in this movie too. So as you can say, I'm already praising the movie without even talking about it, but. Let's talk about the so you kind of know how I feel, right? But let's talk about what you know this meant for the franchise. Um, as financially goes, this movie was, I think, it still is. You know, you know. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I think this was this still is the biggest money maker out of the whole. Like this is the 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 highest grossing entry into the franchise. So this movie was, audiences wise, was successful. However, hardcore fans tend to differ here because basically the this changes the, the, the franchise from straight horror about a slasher film about a killer doll, it becomes dark humor. It's a it's a black comedy. It's a dark comedy. You know, it, it's 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 basically. Um, it changes the tone, it changes the, the delivery, the pacing, everything about it. So hardcore fans, many of them reject them. Uh, many of them just straight up quit watching it or, or they were very displeased after watching it. You can see the polls all over the internet. Um, Brad is hated, but not as much as Seed. And we'll get to see it next video, but uh, yeah. So not a lot of fans of the franchise did enjoy changing. Now, let's talk about the plot, and then I'll tell you my personal thoughts about it. So this is a very creative plot. I mean, it takes, it begins straight up, uh, so to what it seems, right, leading into, uh, uh, you know, part four, where we we know that, uh, you know, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Remember, I'll put it on the title, but Chucky was destroyed by being pushed into a fan. Uh, at, at the carnival uh, ride game and it tore into pieces so um, Jennifer uh, you know Tilly plays this ex-girlfriend of uh, Charles Lee Ray the murderer that you know buys from the evidence locker uh, you know the uh, the remains the, 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 the crushed remains you know of, uh, of Chucky all in, in pieces you know and, um, you know, she's obsessed because she wants to, you know, make a voodoo ritual to revive him, to bring him back to, you know, our world. And uh, so she does, and then she says that, uh, 
you know, that uh, the interest is helping, you know, Chucky, you know, get into a human body so that they can be together and be married. But uh, Chucky kind of clears it up, you know, in a, <laughs> I don't want to tell you exactly how it goes, but it's really funny that uh, he's not interested in getting married, you know, and he's still an asshole, basically, and, and he he has no, no, you know, <laughs> And he's really crude in his comments of uh, of Jennifer Tilly here and uh, Tiffany, her character, right? And, um, you know, then at that point, you know, being a killer herself, Tiffany gets pissed off and, and imprisons Chucky. And, of course, Chucky's not having that. So Chucky uh, gets loose and, of course, uh, you know, kills Tiffany however because he's got a sick messed up sense of humor you know you know channels her body into a doll and uh, so now there are two dolls now two killer dolls Chucky and Tiffany and then the movie uh, revolves as um, basically there's this couple this teenage couple which uh, the 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 foster parent is John Ritter, which is a messed up cop, uh, you know, and uh, plays it really well, you know, sarcastic bastard, and, uh, you know, opposes the, the union of these two. But Chucky and Tiffany see the opportunity of actually grabbing these guys who are running away from the foster parent and, and using their bodies as, as their vessels, so to speak, so that they can regain their human form into you know these very attractive young couple um, and that's how the plot goes you know that's what i'm going to leave it um things that i really really like about brad and chucky um well first of all let me tell you that i do approve the change i think that the friendship was getting stale i did not enjoy part three as much as the other two, obviously, I think it's a much lesser film. I don't think it's terrible, like you say. If you wanna, you know, I'll leave the link to the review of that one. I think it's still a good Chucky film, but it was getting a little bit. Uh, and if they continue down that path, I don't know what would have happened if they continue chasing that story. So they definitely, you know, it needed a change of pace, and it was given a change of pace. I think it gave Brad Dorif a chance to show his dark comedic self. He definitely has fun with this role. He makes you laugh. He's still freaking scary. He's still a killer. And he, and he brought a very talented actress, you know, Jennifer Tilly. If you haven't seen her in other stuff, she's great. She's great in Bound. I mean, this, I mean, the, the, the short, uh, you know, this, the short moments that she's in Liar, Liar is awesome. Every every time I see Jennifer Tilly, you know, it is she's amazing. So, I mean, it, it was a, a great assemble of a cast here, which you know, it made the dark human work, and it works awesome. That's pretty much. I mean, I mean, we got humor of. Uh, I mean, my favorite joke still the, uh, you know, the 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 stoner smoking weed, and then Chucky just crawls. On the floor right next to him and flips him off and he's like you know what a rude doll you know <laughs> i was like you know he's so high he's probably thinking that he's just tripping uh but you know it's just that it, you know the the killing you know and and then the tiffany doll man with with the killing of the uh, you know at the cheap motel you know um and then it gets all covered in blood and then chucky gets totally turned on uh, of course, puppet sex. Every time there's puppet sex, it's like, you know, major points for puppet sex. With Frank the Vamp, yeah. Frank the Vamp approves puppet sex because he's always safe because they're latex. Or plastic. Or a polytailing uh, mix of uh, whatever. Yeah, they're plastic. <laughs> uh, they're awesome. They're awesome. I think... That another thing that I like, I mean, it retains the fact that, you know, that it's a really, really, really dark comedy. It's fun. 
it's like I said, I can name a thousand jokes that go on. I mean, they're, they're fast or never. You're always making fun of yourself. Great music score by Rob Zombie with, uh, uh, you know, you know, going all the way back to White Zombie's uh, Thunder Kiss '69, and um, and of course, uh, you know, the newer stuff with the uh, Living Dead Girl right in the opening scene. Uh, there's other great songs. There's, the soundtrack is amazing. Um, you know, I another thing that it, it works. I love the new Chucky look. And now, if you see the dolls that go online, you know, most of the most people prefer the the the, the scar Chucky, all all stitched up, type of look. And uh, you know, I I once saw them in Hot Topic, and I didn't buy them, and I deeply regret. Uh, you know, the, they had both. They had the set of uh, of of Chucky and and Tiffany. You know. All you know, all prepped up to look from bright, and they look amazing. So, to be honest here, I mean, yeah, I see how people say, "Hey, you know what?" But it was supposed to be like that. But you know what? It's still a great movie. Um, you know, I I enjoyed this as uh, my number three in the series. I will give this uh, a minus. Yeah, I will give this an A minus, man. I, I, I A minus B plus. So I, I, I even gonna say that I might actually like it as much as part two or even a little bit better. So there you go. I mean, I really, really enjoy Brother Chucky. I understand why people are upset. You know, it was a change of pace, um, but it kind of like I don't think it slips all the way down to movie to be movie category uh, I also also got to mention the homage there's a there's a little homage to in the evidence locker to other horror films I don't want to spoil that when you when you see it uh, also you know the, the the callback to the bride of Frankenstein is awesome they're, they're watching it when Tiffany gets killed and that's really sweet you know and then I think Ronnie you you know when I heard, I heard an interview of him the way he he's talking that he's referring back to the masters uh, he really has respect for horror. I really enjoy Ronnie Joe's direction here. Um, there's not many negative things that I can say, except, you know, it's whether you don't like the, the, that. That's the main thing that makes it or breaks it. If you don't like the dark humor, you know, turn, then definitely this is not the one for you. But to everybody else, you know, I recommend this movie. Uh, you know, even if you still, you know, not a fan of the change of pace, I still recommend you to give it a second look. And, and, and just look at it objectively as just a good horror dark comedy film. So that's it. I mean, if you like it, tell me. If you didn't like it, tell me. You know, leave comments, please. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, take care. Have a good one. And, you know, this is, this was, I think this was a fun thing to talk about, Brian, but it's going to be really fun to talk about Sino Chucky because not a lot of people like Sino Chucky. So. Stay tuned next video to see what I think. Take care. Ciao.